This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Uh, today we are going to be taking a look at a game from a, a designer that I really like. I wish we talked more. We, we used to talk a lot, but now, you know, when you become famous, you just don't got time for the little guys. But uh, just an overall great guy, Dave Thompson. Uh, Undaunted 2200 Kalisto. Uh, his latest Undaunted uh, effort with uh, uh, Trevor ben Benjamin. Uh, of course, uh, the solo ma mode by David Terzi, who is another brilliant mind. This, I'm going to tell you right up front. I love the Undaunted series, and then you put it in space. Home run, folks. Let's go down to the table. We'll talk a little bit about it, and then we'll come back up, and, uh, well, we'll get on out of here. So I'm not going to explain everything, but I want to show you what goes on here and some of the differences and some of the things that are just absolutely glorious about this. Um, if you played in Daunted, you know how great this is. One of the big, big things that I really love about this is how you are going to get a ton of different maps. And it's not just, you know, you get one or two maps, you get four double-sided, I think it's, yeah, double-sided, double-sided maps to play on, which the replayability of this is just ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it's three actually. Uh, is it? No, it's four, excuse me. <laughs> There's the other one over there, but I wanted to show you that you're going to get all these different maps. The rule book is as clean as it always is with 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 a David Thompson game. Uh, it's going to spell everything out for you, show you everything. Some of the new things which we're going to be ta taking a look at, and they're standees, uh, which our mechs are going to be involved in this, which is really really cool uh, uh, when, when it comes into play because. With the mechs, you're going to have different types of cards, okay? Uh, you may have a commander or a gunner and so forth and so on. Uh, and, you know, you're going to decide which one of those that you're going to use because, you know, one may move and bolster uh, and attack certain ways, and then you have a gunner that just attacks and suppresses. Uh, and, and you know, and there's ways to scout and stuff like that and, and, and things like that. So your mechs have different types of... of, of, of um, of a crew that will go with them, which is really, really cool. And then, of course, you know, you're going to instead, you know, you're going to have scouts, nail gunners, and different types of guys. And as you can see, they will they will have uh, a, a value. And then, of course, which group which they would be in uh, your hand, because as always, you are going to have a certain hand of cards. Okay, that you're going to be playing from, but you're going to also be able to buy and bring in certain people. Uh, but you'll start with a deck with a certain amount of people, and then you'll have different ones that you'll be able to pick from as as you go, and you know as 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 you bolster things up. Um, each scenario is is pretty much uh, written out in in uh, the scenario book that we'll show you. Um, you're going to have different types of um, combat cards and, and command cards and interference cards. Interference cards are going to be useless. They're going to block up your deck. Um, the, the cards are very simple. Um, your initiative value up here, uh, what, what card it is, like this one goes to the mech, it's a gunner, and then the ability that you would be able to use with that and the stats. Uh, this is going to give you two at zero range attack, okay? Uh, this, uh, uh, this ability suppress uh, three. And you're going to have dice and you're going to roll different dice. And when you're d in different areas, you are going to get certain amount of defense. For instance, a nail gunner has four. And then you would have two here, which would bring it up to six. And then if this scout was here trying to shoot, you would count these spaces too, which would bring it up to eight. And then depending 
on certain things you would roll a die and hopefully if you could do that you will be able to take it out and there'll be different dice that you'll use depending on uh, certain requirements but you'll roll up oh, 12 that's going to be a hit okay so which is pretty good because that's going to uh, probably knock that uh, down a scale and then eventually they'll start losing cards and so forth and so on but you are going to be accumulating some of those um, interference cards as well with certain things that you're going to do you're going to have your scouts that are going to be scouting areas you'll be able to claim certain areas for for your area um, you can never claim uh, um, an area that is already claimed by um, another another unit here you would have to eliminate that particular unit there are going to be all types of missions the the everything is spelled out in how it works okay your round structure you're going to draw a card you're going to determine initiative remember i showed you that that thing uh players are going to take uh their turns playing all the cards from their hand to perform their actions. You're going to have movement action, support actions, and then of course your combat, which is always a good time. Okay, um, rolling attack dice, uh, you know, if it's a low target, you're going to roll a D12. If it's a level target, everything is run off a D10. If it is a high target, okay, uh, if you're shooting uphill, you're going to roll a D8. So you've got different dice for that. Um, you're going to have attacks, a pulse, Suppression. All the icons are spelled out for you on this quick two-player reference system, okay, which is just fantastic. And the whole manual is only 21 pages long. And uh, actually, to be honest with you, they give you a rule example on page 20. So just making sure that you have everything down is 19 pages, easy to read, well done by, you know, one of the best minds in the business. Your scenario book, you know, this is great uh, for anywhere from two to four players. It's going to spell everything out that, you know, everything that you're going to need and have to have out there. Uh, these are the cards that are going to be in your hand. And then these are going to be the cards that are going to be on the table. Um, the S cards mean those are the, the supply cards that you're going to have extra that you'll be able to add. And these are your starting cards that will be in your group. Okay. Some of them don't start in your hand. So you're going to want to uh, get those. And then, of course, you're going to have a certain amount of interference cards um, available as well and in your deck to start your scenario it'll tell you what board that you're going to use and all that other stuff how you're going to set things up which board you're going to uh i just said that um and and the different scenarios i believe that there are up to hold on how many scenarios uh eight scenarios but you can also run a campaign and it's interesting because you'll be able to um you know uh attribute all your stuff you're going to want to uh, you know copy these uh, your campaign tables because you're going to be keeping track of casualties of wins uh, of heroic contributions and the different scenarios and when you did it but hold on there's more because David Thompson and Trevor and David Terzi doesn't stop there and David uh, Digby I don't want to forget him either and a tremendous art by Roland McDonald which whew, thank you solo rule book this is something that this game, uh, Undaunted, I always felt that would be great if it had solo rules. I used to make up my own for the World War II stuff. But this, this really takes it to another level. And it shows you how to do, to, you know, uh, the scenarios and playing each side and how the bots work. Um, which is is pretty easy it's pretty much you know it, you'll have their pre-made deck of cards and you'll turn over th three and you will do them in initiative order um, from left to right and um, really um, makes a lot of sense and it's smart and it does everything and you know when you play it fair it, it just works really really well but they give you the scenarios for each side okay and how to set it up for whether you are going to be the breakers or you are going to uh, play as the LFA uh, which there is a interesting story which I'll let you discover for yourself and this fantastic fantastic game quality uh of course from 
uh, the great Osprey Games. Uh, brilliance and genius from uh, Mr. Benjamin, Mr. Thompson, and of course, uh, you know, very thankful for the solo uh, aspect by Mr. Digby and Terzi. So, um, you need this, and I'm going to talk more about that up top, and um, just a very, very, very special game. Just when you think this game can't get any better, uh, it does, um, because now it has solo rules, which really, really just, um, you, you know, I used to play Undaunted solo a certain way, and uh, I really liked doing that because I used to make up my own stuff, but now you have these solo rules that just are clean, make sense, and are a lot of fun. I love the different boards, you know, just eight different maps. Um, the feel of the whole thing. Uh, this, this is probably one of the best Undaunted out there. Uh, it's, uh, I couldn't even rate all of them because I think all of them are just glorious. Uh, or maybe someday I will, but uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I absolutely love this series. I love what Dave Thompson does. It's always smart, easy to learn, clean rule books. And Osprey, you know, putting out just quality because Osprey is quality. Um, whether you buy books from them or, or rule sets and stuff like that, it is a company that just gets it right. So um, I really highly, highly suggest this. Um, uh, just just, just a, a, a another glorious, glorious game from just a great company and a great designer. You need this in your collection, trust me, because this one ain't ever going anywhere. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.